Hello everyone, welcome to another Ivy Robotics video. In this one we'll be going over LiPo batteries. So with the drones we sell, we generally recommend a 4S or 6S depending on the model. That'll be shown on the battery as a number and then S. So this one we have here is 4S or 4 cells and that holds through uh, at different numbers. So 6S being 6 cell and so on. Generally with LiPo batteries, each cell will give you a nominal 3.7 volts, which gives us our 14.8 volts on this battery. The other thing you want to look at is the C rating, which gives you the maximum current. Now, while it could do more, it is recommended to charge at a 1C or below. So with this one, to get the actual amperage you put into the battery, you take the capacity and you multiply it by the desired C rating. So 4,000 milliamp hours or 4 amp hours times 1C would give us a maximum safe charge that we desire for battery longevity of 4 amps. You can do less and that will help maintain the battery's capacity over its lifespan. We're also going to want to cover discharging. It's important to note that LiPo batteries can be damaged if you discharge them too far. It can be irreparable and completely destroy your battery. Most LiPo batteries are smart and will cut themselves off before they go below that limit. However, it's important to keep track of the voltage of your battery before, during, and after flights to make sure it is going to continue operating as expected. The next thing we're going to cover is safe storage. We recommend keeping your batteries in a fireproof bag like this one. LiPo batteries can be very hazardous if damaged, punctured, overheated, etc. So it's recommended to keep them in a safe, cool place in a bag like this one. It's also important to note that they should be at specific charge levels when stored. Recommended is approximately 50%, though it does not have to be at exactly that level. What's important is to avoid being completely discharged or completely charged. Now we'll be giving a demo of charging our 4S battery on this smart charger, specifically the C240 Duo. So first we'll connect the XT60, and then we'll connect this plug. Uh, there are slots for different cell batteries. Yours should fit perfectly into one of them. If it's not, you likely have the wrong connection. We'll get this into the 4S slot and turn on our charger. We have it connected to the second channel. First thing that pops up allows you to select the type of battery. Obviously we have a lithium one. So hit enter and brings you to the next screen where you can program specifically what the charger is going to do. So first we'll go ahead and move through a few of the options, you see storage, discharge, etc. Uh, we'll be looking to do a balance charge, hit enter, then hit enter again, and you can control the amperage. As discussed before, you want it to be less than 1C or one times the capacity of your battery. I'll go ahead and lower this one to one amp, hit enter. And then the cells should be automatically detected. You can see 14.8 4S on there. That's correct for our battery. We'll go ahead and hold enter down and you can hear the beeps that it is going to start charging. You can see it'll ask you to confirm and then it's charging. You can see information, how long the battery's been charging, current voltage level, etc. And that is it for the demo. That concludes the battery video. If there's any other information you'd like to see diving deeper in batteries or related to drones in general, our products, let us know in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next one.